Popovers allow you to display additional information such as fields, buttons, and portals without sacrificing valuable screen real estate. While this feature was borrowed from the iOS platform, it is equally useful on desktop solutions. So let's demonstrate this new popover feature with the brand new invoices template that comes with FileMaker Pro 13. Now there's a popover button that's available anywhere in this area. You can click anywhere and out of nowhere comes additional fields. All you do is simply type into them as if they're in the regular layout. We'll put in ABC Company and you'll see as soon as you go to the next field it updates this area right here. It already says ABC Company. We'll put in an address and we'll also put in a footer which will appear on the invoice. We could even enter in a logo if we wanted to. You have full functionality inside of this popover. Think of it as a layout within a layout. When you click on it, it appears and when you click out of it, it disappears. You still filled in those fields and let's check them out. You can see the one right here where we put the company. Let's look at an invoice. And if we click print invoice, you'll see that we have the address here and down at the bottom we have the footer. So let's show you how to create your own popover. They're really easy to do. Just go into layout mode, grab the popover button, draw it like a rectangle or like the existing regular button feature, and you'll get two things. You'll get the popover area as well as the popover setup. So in the popover setup we can come over here and type in a name for this because what we're going to do is we're going to show additional information about this invoice without actually going to the invoice. We're going to show the line items or products that are on that invoice. And if you don't want that title to show, you simply uncheck that and it goes away. You also have the ability to change where it's located. You can set script triggers if you want. There's all kinds of control. And once you're done with that, floating palette, you can work with this area any way you want. You can click on it and make it smaller and then draw on it with any kind of tool up here. So we'll try the field tool. We'll come down to the line items field, make it a little bit bigger because it's going to show all the line items. But you're not just limited to fields, you could have buttons, you could have a portal, you could have a chart, anything you want. Once you're done, you can close this. You can see the little popover icon there, the badge that's showing there. We'll go back to browse mode. You can see that when we click on the total now, it brings up this popover and shows you exact detail of what you did. So this is a great way to add additional information in one screen without taking up valuable screen real estate. It's very easy to use and I'm sure you'll find it as one of your favorite features whether you're on a desktop machine such as a Mac or Windows or on an iOS machine such as an iPad or an iPhone.